there, partner. How do? Welcome to Denver. My name is Clint. This here is Jesse. Mm-hmm. And here in Denver, we believe in two things and two things only. Skiing and being cowboys. And if you don't believe in those two, you're probably a huge engine. Or a darn Arapaho. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. We're going to be your guides getting acquainted with Denver for the Democratic National Convention. Now let's get going. Time's a-wasting. This here's the Capitol building, located smack dab in the center of the city. And you guessed it, that's gold on the dome. Solid gold. Hey, yahoo! And this here is the cash register building. The first building ever constructed in Denver back in 1880. Legend has it that President Rutherford B. Hayes planted a magic dime in the ground. The building shot up overnight, terrifying the Ute Indians for miles around, conceding this land of the noble white man. But don't be fooled. The Ute infiltrators still walk among us, and our 150-year battle against them savages rages on. Trust no one. What enough of that safety talk. Hey, barkeep, give me a beer. Denver statistically is the drunkest city in America. So have a ball while you're here. Don't forget to tell them about that panel. That's a good point, Prospector Jake. You should tell them about the altitude sickness. All right. What about them four miles high, thin air? Y'all want to take it down? Cheyenne's way across there. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Now, there's plenty more to do in Denver than drink yourself to death. No, there ain't. Come along, I'll show you. This here is the 16th Street Mall. A bustling commercial center that the city has generously donated to raving vagrants and failed street performers. Now ain't that kind of them? Show them what they can buy, Jesse. Well, we got all kinds of wares. Gotta sell some little miniature mooses, wooden bear, soccer weird doll, dream catchers and skulls. Kiss my ass, New York City. People have been saying that Denver is one of the least diverse places in the country. Come on now, folks, who believes in numbers anyway? Denver's plenty diverse. We got all kinds of ethnicities. You got your Irish, your Italians, your Scandinavians, the whole spectrum of the rainbow of white. And this here's the Fortress of Solitude, on loan from Superman. There's all sorts of crazy alien art in there. This is the beautiful People's Republic of Boulder, which declared its independence from reality in 1969. And don't forget mad, majestic Colfax Avenue, where Denver has politely concentrated all the ruffians and violent crime into one long road. Just so happens to be the longest continuous road in the country. <laughs> yes, sirree, Bab. Hey, Clint, that thing on? Yeah. All right, this over here, show me, show me. That's the Ute Stronghold, Denver International Airport. See them teepees? That's where the engines hole up, and they use their savage magic to guide in planes daily. Well, something mighty foolish of us to concede air travel to them along with the casinos, but we are but simple folk. Hey, check it out. Jake's got his sneaking britches on. God darn you! Denver's just as modern as any city in the Federated States of America. We have electricity, flushing toilets, wastewater processing plant. Denver's got a very rich history, producing such celebrities as Hutu Rebel Don Cheadle, Fat Woman Roseanne, Cocaine Construction Man, and legendary prospector, Scrooge McDuck. And history is gonna be made here once more when candidate Rock Osama accepts a presidential nomination in front of 75,000 screaming white people. And I hear some of them might even be in support. Mm-hmm. We'll see you real soon, everybody. And while you're here in Denver, make yourself at home and be sure to spend lots of money, because we're broke as shit.